this video will create such graph, such admin interactive dashboard, which will help you to generate and play with the data. And we'll use just DeepSeek, the same Chinese AI model, which has top reasoning capabilities. Not only this, we'll also generate such graphs where you can uh, fetch real time data with the help of APIs. For now, we will use some demo data, but we'll get an idea how we can uh, make such interactive dashboard, such graphs and like this world GDP map. See this. You can see some of the countries uh, having a graph of different colors. We are just use we just made it by using DeepSeek and just Jupyter Notebook. We set DeepSeek to generate code for all this stuff and it generated. I'll show you how step by step you can uh, generate such interactive dashboard. Even better than that, this is just a demo. I'll explain you each code one by one so you don't have to mess with entire dashboard and setup. I'll explain you each code one by one, line by line, that how you can actually prompt DeepSeek and use it. And the best thing about DeepSeek, it's totally free and open source. So you don't have to worry about the credits and money. It's totally free. You can even run it locally. I'm Halit and you're watching Skill Curb. We are now on the home page of DeepSeek. On the left side, you can see the logo of DeepSeek, the sidebar, navigation bar on the new chat option here, this app to download. On the section, this is your ID. Now we are on the main page where this is a prompt box where we will command DeepSeek that will help you to generate interactive dashboard. So if you want to uh, some reasoning task with DeepSeek, just click on that. And if you want to search through internet, you can also enable this. For example, we don't need such options for now because interactive dashboard is not that complex. Now, first of all, we have to prompt it one by one. Let's see how we want to do that. So first of all, we will prompt it like create an interactive dashboard in Jupyter Notebook that includes various graphs to visualize customer data, admin related metrics, sales inside, use example data to showcase key trends, performance indicator, ensure that dashboard is interactive, allowing users to explore different aspects of data dynamically. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you that make sure you always give a proper prompt. Most of the people just uh, be lazy and they just uh, give a very short prompt which can be confusing and vague. So always try to be not vague and give a proper prompt. Always get a better result. Now we will just click on the button and now DeepSeek will start answering our question. Okay, it started answering question like creating interactive dashboard in Jupyter Notebook involves libraries like pandas, data, plotly, bokeh. Okay, now let me explain you something. What are pandas? If you are not with Python and stuff, like if you're not a Python guy, you can get confused. Python, pandas, plotly, and these are libraries which will help us to generate data, charts, and you know, like a good looking interactive dashboard. These libraries packages will help us. Okay, now this is the first code it give pip install install pandas plotly. So this this will help us to download and install all these libraries on our system. Okay, now in the step two, you can see that there are also some data which is import pandas, pv, import plotly, express, import graph. We will use all these libraries to make this entire interactive dashboard. In the step three, it gave us customer data visualization. Don't worry, I'll explain you each code one by one. So you just have to wait and watch it. This is admin matrix visualizer. On the next step, it's sales data visualizing. If you have forgotten, we said the deep seek to give us custom data, administrator data, customer data, sales inside. These are example data. So the deep seek started giving us the customer data, admin matrix visualization, sales data visualization. So these all these code will help us to visualize the entire data set. Now let's copy each line one by one and go to the Jupyter. Now we are on the Jupyter side. Let's click on the Python. And make sure you have an excellent matrix mark there. It will help us to install all the libraries one by one. Let's copy each step one by one. Like I'm copying a step two for now. This is step three where we'll get customer data visualization. We'll also copy that. Make sure you always have a scroll cell here. We are, if you don't know what we are using right now, we are using a Jupyter Notebook, which is one of the best way to get such data interaction board. We can also use VS Code, but I always advise you to use Jupyter Notebook. Okay, lastly, this is our last step code. Now we have to paste it on the just beneath this cell. After pasting it all, what you need to do is click on run and click on run all cell. Let's wait and watch. 
Now here you will get all the data visualization, interactive dashboard. Now we have the data interaction dashboard. You can see in simple terms all the data sales dashboard we have waited for. Let's see one by one and see how it's going. So this is customer spending score annual income. You can see this is a very uh, male and female data like when the blue one is male and the red one is female. You can see how deep seek in effortlessly made such data with no time. You can see the active users growth graph. Remember it's, it's just a demo data but you can always fetch your real data with your APIs. It's not that hard. You can always put your CSV data. This is also revenue data like 30k revenue revenue product id too so different data with different product id so now you know how it's easy to make such data with the help of deep seek interactive dashboards we we just did we just prompted a very single prompt and everything just set up by automatically okay let's explain code a little bit so you get an idea what's going here so in this section we importing uh, required libraries and creating example data sets to simulate the real world data now we'll create three example data set Customer data contains customer demographics like age, gender, annual income, and spending score. Admin metrics contain tracks, monthly admin related metrics like active users, support tickets, server downtime. In the sales data, it includes product level data like product ID, categories, revenue. Here we create interactive visualization using Plotly and IP widgets. Now we can create interactive scatter plot to explore relationship between customer and income spending score. Users can now filter data by gender, age, range using drop down and sliders. In this section, we can use a line plot to visualize admin matrix over time. Users can now select which matrix to display. Maybe support tickets using a drop down. Here we are creating a bar plot to analyze sales performance by product categories. Users can filter data by product categories using drop down. To organize all the visualization, we use IP widgets to create tapped interface and its visualization. We'll make another interactive diagram. This time we'll use a world GDP and then we'll use world map to make it much better looking. Okay, now this is the prompt which I wrote. Let me explain you each word one by one. Okay, so we are saying create an interactive dashboard in Jupyter Notebook featuring a vibrant world map. Each country should display its GDP data when clicked below the map. Include a dynamic GDP growth chart that updates based on the selected country. Additionally, provide a drop down menu to filter data, ensuring smooth interactivity. Okay, now make sure if you are in Jupyter Notebook, make sure you have to write this because Jupyter Notebook has different ways, a different paradigm to write code and to run the code. So it's important or I'm also saying vibrant world map which means a colorful world map which will make it much better looking and very interactive. So let me click on the run button and now DeepSeek will run its query. Okay DeepSeek has started answering the question which is creating an interactive dashboard in Jupyter Node with the world map GDP data. They are using again the same library which we previously used like Plotly, IPY widgets, Pandas. Pandas is a famous library for calculations. Okay, now we'll have to first write this code in the Jupyter Notebook section. This will help us to install all the required modules and libraries which will create an interactive diagram. Okay, the second one is import libraries. This code will import all the libraries, Pandas, Plotly, IPY widgets. We, this is assuming that let's assume you have a CSV file with columns, country, GDP and GDP growth. And this is Plotly Express to get an interactive world map. Okay, but this is saying we have a CSV file, but we do not have such CSV file. So let me say, okay, now I said uh, DeepSeek 2, we don't have a CSV file. Can you add a sample data? So after click on that, the DeepSeek will add its own sample data. But if you're making a real time interactive dashboard, Always make sure you have a CSV file and real time data to or if you don't have a CSV file, you can always fetch it from different APIs. Now it started generating a sample data set too. Okay, now we can start copying these things one by one. Now let's first copy this thing so it will automatically install all the latest modules and libraries which are required to run this code. Now we'll copy this code which is it generate a sample data. We'll just paste it here simply and just below that we'll paste rest of amount of the code. After copying it we just simply click on Control plus V to paste all the data. Now you'll have to click on run and run all cells. This will help you to run all the cells simultaneously. Otherwise, Jupyter run all the cell one by one, which can be very redundant. You can see the data has been loaded. It's 2022 data and you can see on the cyan color, this is United States. On the orange, it's Mexico. In the blue color, in the yellow color, it's Brazil. On the blue, it's India. On the purple, it's Russia. You can see such data heavy interactive dashboard is generated in second by the DeepSeek. Not just this, you can even 
see the GDP trend over time by just clicking on this. And you can even see 2022, 2021, different financial years data for each country. It's like for United States, it was 2022.9. For Japan, it was 4.93. You can see all the countries growing over the line, the interactive dashboard, the growth chart just below the map as we prompted DeepSeek. Not just this, you can even use scroll function to select the year that you want to see data of. So now you now have an idea of how powerful DeepSeek is when it comes to generating interactive dashboard. It generated this data intensive dashboard just in second without even a single prompt error. So this was how exactly you could use DeepSeek to make interactive dashboard. Not only this, you can create even better than this. You can use JavaScript and different other languages too. We used Python for example for tutorial purposes. If you like the video, just like it and share it. For more such content, don't forget to subscribe.